Hello Bambinos and welcome to week one of a new league. This is the, um, the Little Root Lessons Draft League. It's the BDSP VGC league that I'm taking part in, ran by uh, Evan Smoke VGC. Um, this is fun. I've not played any of the BDSP meta at all. This is just another draft that I'm diving into. Please excuse my throat. I don't know. Oh, I do know what happened. I went out last night and I must have been shouting quite a bit. Um, yeah, so we're playing against... Uh, Dan Chunks and the Romper Typhlosions. Uh, they've got a pretty cool team. They've got some like real heavy threats like Weavile, um, Feraligator, and Rotom Heat that I need to be able to deal with. We're just waiting to match up in the global room right now. Okay, okay, we found him. That took a while, but here he is. Um, yeah, chunks. All right, let's go. What? Okay, he's made the rules, which is good. Right, select like the team. I've not actually done any VGC on this platform. Here's the team. Let's see what we brought. So I just have to bring four, I think. Select four. Okay, so jump off. Weavile, yep. Feraligator. Pidgeot. Snorlax. And Root and Pete. Okay. So, Weavile's an issue, so I'm bringing Ambipom for the quick guard stuff. Um, I need Metacham because Stormax is an issue. Um, kind of like Rotom here, to be honest. I think I need Blastoise. Hmm, this is tricky. The lead is, is very tricky. I think... Um, I think I'll leave Metacham, Blastoise, and Rotom in the back. Um, Blastoise is a very bulky set, ready to take hits from a plus one for Alligator with Fake Out and Yawn. Um, my offense being Rotom and Metacham. I'm seeking a Scarf, and I could just hit like Ice ice Beam onto the jump off, or. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay. See what it brings game one. Good luck to Dan. Jump off Weaver. This is like tower and stuff, right? So I'm going to quick guard here because of the uh, threat of um, fake out from Weavile, I think. I think Rockside's okay. Obviously, jump plus very fast. I think Rockside's okay here. But I do worry a little bit about Snorlax in the back, okay? Pidgeot, okay, something's taken a rock side. So we show the quick guard. There'll be no fake out from them. Sleep powder. Inside the Ambipalm, okay. We see sleep powder revealed. Uh, rock side's gonna do a lot of damage to this Pidgeot. Uh, it's actually gonna do hell of a lot of damage to be honest we show life orb which is fine um trouble is here um i don't have any counters to sleep powder whatsoever literally nothing um weave all in the back weave all in the back uh, you just hit another sleep powder is, is the really annoying thing here um i kind of just need to hope for a miss i think is that my play because Weavile could be so annoying in the back, but I don't know how we deal with this. Um... Yeah, I just have to take for a sleep powder miss, I think. Strength's up. Okay, well that's... Hmm. No, that is an issue, actually. And Pidgeot can actually just kill Medicham here. I didn't really think of that. So, once we're in the sleep, on Ambipalm. Brave Bird. Gonna kill itself with Recoil. 
Um, if there is a Snorlax in the back, this gets very tricky. Medicham gone, Pidgeot down. Um. Right. Honestly, I'm gonna need. I'm going to wake up right here. Okay. Okay, I've got the blasters in the back. Okay. I could lose sweep the jump off, but it all depends on wake up. Is is kind of the bad thing here. I did not prep for sleep powder whatsoever. God damn. Um, and you can take hit, sure. I'm gonna yawn the rose on. This is crazy. I think I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Ah, uh, sleep powder of spam is kind of not great at all. Jump off is faster than the uh, amp bomb as well. Come on, Amber Palm. This isn't cool. Nasty plot. This I really could have done with the Yawn. He's two for two on Sleep Powders, which is cool, of course. Here's one turn of Sleep from the Blastoise. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much going to die to any any hit here. Um, there's nothing I can do. I think I need to low sweep the jump off just to lower its speed and yawn. Need to yawn this Rotom. Rage powder. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Three full turns of sleep on Amberpon. Our first two T Bolt will just erase Blastoise from existence. So we're going to lose game one. Sleep spam sucks so bad. It's life or Rotom. Ah, uh, Life Orb. Okay, so I'm guaranteed to wake up this turn. Is there a way out of this? I really don't think so. I don't have protect either. Yeah, this is this is hopeless. Oh, Rotom actually avoids. Then one wakes up, gets a double hit off. Not gonna do a lot of damage at all. I'm not very attack invested on this thing. That is a good chunk to the jump off. We reveal Sash on Amber Palm. Oh, and the paralysis, that's not cool. Wow, just all of the hacks this game, huh? I'm just going to die anyway, might as well discharge. And jump off to land a sleep powder here, so. Yeah. Wow, three for three. Oh no, three out of four, but still that's full three turns of sleep on the Ambipom. Yeah, this sucked. This really sucked. Overheat should just knock me out. Helping hand overheat definitely will knock me out. Helping have Thunderbolt probably knocks me out. Yeah. GG's. Um, man, Sleep Span sucks in this meta with no goggles. How do I... I don't deal with that at all. I literally do not deal with that at all. Uh, 
I don't know how I do all that. Let's have a look. I wish I was scarf on the... Thing is, if I bring so much for the... The Snorlax could really mess me up. I think I'll go Scarf Seeking. And Medicham in case Snorlax comes, because if I don't bring Snor Medicham, Snorlax is going to have a really, really fun time versus me. You seem Reach Powder and Sleep Powder, helping hand from the jump off. Oh, we're kind of really weak to Fridigator now anyway, so it is what it is. We didn't get enough info out of uh, game one because of all the sleeps. Okay. I'm just hoping he doesn't have Protect. Just really hoping he doesn't have Protect. I bet he does. He just protects Jump Bluff. Okay, that's fine. Tell Wind. It's a right song, okay. That is a big chunk. There's the Tailwind. Okay, I've got Seeking in the back ready after the Nasty Plot. Um, Do I recycle the fake out and switch? No, they got they've got um tailwind up. I need to I need to stall out this tailwind big time. See I think I do I do attack into the Pidgeot slot. While he gets a nasty plot off. Risking the burn. Wow, that is a lot of damage. Flame body? Can we get a flame body? Just a straight T-Bolt into the Magmortar. So, wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. I thought you were trying to set up there. Um, okay, double hit just misses, so we just... Like, what, what am I supposed to do? I mean, Brave Bird just kills, right? I didn't... I see the Protect there from the, um... Okay, double Protect. Oh, expecting the Fake Out, okay. Unfortunately, we waste our Protect. So that has to be turn one, two, three. Tell and then's next turn, okay. We'll get seeking in now. And hit the Pidgeot. So I've not done too much. T Bolt, we get the lightning rod. It's how petered out. Okay, brilliant. We'll go for the Scarf Hydra Pump now into the Rotom and double hit the Pidgeot. I like see Jump Luff coming in on that side. I should maybe have gone for the Ice Beam, I think. Okay. Scarf revealed. Seeking does get a kill. Oh, 
And Pom does get a kill. So we see Jump Off. And what else in the back? Weavile. Okay. Just gonna hard switch back into the Medicham here and. I guess attempt to break a sash here, but I know I'm gonna get nailed by that jump bluff. That sleep powder needs to miss on Abby Bomb, that's like my only wink on here. Ah, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hard lose the sleep powders all over the place here. Sword sense, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, this looks bad. Gonna get Seekin back in here. I think where you wink on is um, them not targeting the Ampa from here because it's asleep. No protects on their end. Okay, sleep powder, nice. Oh no, sorry, Seeking. That was our only wink on, because we needed to scarf Ice Beam, that jump bluff. And Pom absolutely has to wake up here. Oh wow, it does. It does, Weave off still knock out, um... Probably does. Yeah, GG's.